Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I got a lot of stuff to talk about. Last week I didn't really do any kind of recap video on week 7. I ended up doing something else instead. Um, I just didn't really like have a whole lot to talk about at the time. So uh, I just tried to do something else and put something else out there. So today I'm actually going to recap week 7 and week 8. Just to kind of bring everything back up to speed. But that's really it for the intro so let's just get right into it. So as far as week 7 goes, week 7 was really all about finishing up the front end capstone project. If you haven't heard me say those words before, I'm going to link a video up here in the top corner. This was my last video of where I talked about Hack Reactor, and I went into greater detail about what exactly the front-end capstone is, as well as showed a demonstration of my own front-end capstone project. So as I mentioned, week 7 was pretty much all about FEC. Um, it was all about finishing up that project, putting on some final touches, uh, getting the proxy deployed, and just just really wrapping up that that entire uh, uh, three week project. So that's why there wasn't really a whole lot to talk about in week seven, just by itself, and that's why these two videos are together. That project definitely still has work to get done on it. Uh, I do plan to revisit it after the program is over to finish up some more features on that uh, that I just really didn't have time to get to. And there's, I mean, everybody's in that, that same boat. We all plan on revisiting those projects. That's just how it is. So moving on to week eight, uh, week eight, we uh, got into doing resumes on Monday, which was really cool. Cause it's finally like, you know, yes, we're taking that step towards, uh, you know, career services. Like we're almost there. I got four weeks left. So yeah, we did re uh, resume sprints on Monday. And then starting Tuesday, we got into the SDC, which is the uh, system design capstone. This is like probably the hardest project of senior phase. This one is, is uh, really interesting to say the least. And uh, just kind of a, a slight overview of uh, what my goals are for this project. Um, I'm working with a legacy code base, uh, taking somebody else's code base from the FEC project. Uh, so I'm working on somebody else's code of a different section of the project. So it's a code base I'm totally unfamiliar with. I have to rebuild the backend of this project basically so i'm getting rid of all of their calls to the api that we used for S, uh, fec and uh, i'm building out a massive massive database uh for this project so i'm building out a uh, massive database for uh this project i've decided to uh use uh, postgres as my primary database for this and uh, if there's time i will be running tests on a secondary database against the first one to find out which one performs better. Uh, the secondary database that I chose for this is MongoDB. Um, and basically, uh, I'm going to be building out this entire backend. I'm going to be loading. Right now, I think I've estimated about 30 million records of data that I'm going to generate with uh, a script that I wrote. Um, basically, I wrote a script that is going to generate massive CSV files. Um, it's going to generate and export data to uh, CSV files and then uh, that's basically it. So basically once I have this massive data set that I generated of, you know, like I said, roughly 30 million records, um, I'm going to be seeding my database with that and then I'm going to be deploying this to AWS um, and then I'm going to be load testing my service with uh, something like artillery or I think like K6 is another one that I heard about. But yeah, basically, so I'm going to be stre uh, stress testing. Uh, my server and my database and my goal is a minimum of a thousand requests per second on an AWS T2 micro server. Um, I heard that this is actually like pretty difficult to accomplish uh, due to the fact that the T2 micro on AWS is uh, like really slow. Um, they're not good at handling a lot of things at once. They're good at handling like, you know, a couple things maybe, but not a lot. So the idea is to optimize my service. Uh, optimize my database queries, optimize uh, how I'm requesting data, like optimize in any way possible to reach that goal of a thousand requests per second. The goal beyond that uh, would be like 10,000 requests per second, which is insanely difficult to do. It would be really cool, but I don't know if I'll actually reach that goal, but my, my primary target is a thousand requests per second. But yeah, that's kind of like, like the two minute overview of what SDC is. So yeah, this is like a really, uh, like cool project if you're into like backend type stuff and uh you know you're curious about like databases and like load testing and things like that um it's pretty cool to build out like this really big uh structure and then optimize it and make it run uh 
at like a simulated production level, um, like stress wise. Uh, that's that's like something I never would have even thought to try, let alone been able to do um, had I continued learning on my own without Hack Reactor. Uh, so I am grateful for, to them for um, their top-notch coursework and things like that because you know this is something that there's abso just absolutely no way that I would have been able to learn how to do uh, beforehand and now I'm like figuring it out on my own um, how to how to do these insanely complicated tasks and it's it's awesome I love it so but again that kind of wraps up my week eight overview uh, I already wrapped up week seven overview so that's that's really it guys um, I gotta get back to work on this SDC so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, edit this video today and try to get it up today but other than that guys I gotta get back to work till next time guys <laughs>